Roll the camera. Okay. 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 Scene one, take one. Welcome to Super News. I'm Terry and I'm Mary. Today on Super News, we have three exciting interviews: one from on the water, one from under the bridge, and one from over the sea. But first up, a gorilla has escaped from the zoo. the first sighting of Gorilla George. He was picking his nose on a bench and looking for food in a smelly bin. The next, he was on a rampage through the beehive looking frantically for bananas. Here's our on-the-spot reporter, Hannah, with Aleri. Hello, I'm Hannah, and here we have Aleri. Thanks, Aleri. And... Hi, Larry, and thanks for joining us today. How did the gorilla George escape? He slipped through the gate of his cage while his keeper was cleaning his enclosure. What attempts have been made to capture him? The children of Tamiro School are thankfully staying in Wellington and uh, out searching. We heard that food shops have had to close. Is this true? They are fearing for the thieves of bananas and can't keep up with stock. Thanks, Larry. And that's all from me. And now back to you, Mary, in the studio. The interesting interview. Thanks, Hannah. And now for something completely different. School children striking to be paid to attend school? Whatever next? It seems a money-hungry disease have reached our children from the Milky Way. The disease has been named Milky Money, and there's only one thing that can stop it. To lo- according to local scientists, drink milk, force it down their throats, stop the striking. Scientists have been telling desperate parents and councils, we will keep you informed. Now over to our reporter, Emma. Thanks, Mary. I'm Emma, and joining me here is Jessica. Please explain what you're striking about. We want to go to school. We want to be paid to go to school. If we have to turn out, we need an incentive. How do you think your teachers feel about this? Who cares? They get paid. So why don't we? What do all the work. (laughs) What do you say to the... Scientists who are calling this the milky money disease. If they had been paid at school, they would know more. And we're out of time. Back to you, Terry. Thanks, Emma. Now for something completely different. Kids are on the loose in the beehive. They have, been, they have eaten all the lollies in the lolly jar. And when they were asked who stole the lollies in the lolly jar, they all said... Not me, couldn't be. Two children have locked themselves in the Prime Minister's toilet. This was discovered when Mr Key went to use the toilet and then called for a chauffeur to take him to to take him to the local public toilets at two dollars fifty as a visit. I do hope it doesn't last long or or our tax paying money will be gone. Let's cross to our on-the-spot reporter who has more on the situation. Over to you, Alicia. 
Thanks, Terry. I'm Alicia, and joining me now is Mr. Casey. What are your plans to solve this situation? A lolly trail leading to a giant rat trap and calling in Mitre 10 Mega Man to bust down the door. How did Mr. Key find the local public toilets? Dirty, smelly, and he left with some small stains on his shoes. He was also brought to the attention of the cleaners for the need of toilet paper. Approximately how much did he oh how much money has been lost in lollies? We will be contacting Mr Willy Wonka to establish an amount. Thank, thanks for your time, Sarah. Now over to you, Rebecca, with the weather update. Thank you, Alicia. Wangarei, sun was a shower of meatballs. Auckland, fine but a lot of candy floss around in the afternoon. Hamilton, better watch out, it's going to rain blue whales. Nate Pear, it's snowing marshmallows, but they should clear early afternoon. Wellington, lots of sun, remember that sunscreen is slip, slop, slap. Christchurch, bad wind with possibly some tornadoes. Dunedin, final day, but expect a change in temperature around midnight when you will experiment Arctic conditions. That's all for now. Good night, New Zealand. We'll spot you tomorrow. Back to the news desk with Terry and Mary. Thanks, Rebecca. What a day in the capital. Let's hope that the children are returned to their classes. Gorilla George is back in the zoo and that, and that Mr Key is free to use any loo he wants to. Maybe tomorrow we can report some real news about, and finish our story about the sausages sizzling in the pan. Thank you for all for watching. We'll see you again next time from the whole team at Super News. Goodbye, Ian Nohora. Ladies and gentlemen. Roll the camera. Okay. okay. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight we have featured an interview with a very peculiar looking gentleman. Scene one. Take one.